Questioning today with Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lewis, the floor is yours. You have five minutes, six minutes, excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you for the extra minute as well. I appreciate that. Um, to all the witnesses, <clears throat> thanks very much um, for your testimony uh, this afternoon slash evening. Uh, it really hits home for a riding like Essex in that we, you know, I, I like to call ourselves an island, so to speak. I know we're not, but we're awful close to one when we have Lake St. Clair. A relatively small body of water compared to the other great uh, to compared to the Great Lakes, I suppose it's not a great lake. And then we have the Detroit River, very narrow, mm -hmm. not very deep. And then we have Lake uh, Erie and um, <clears throat> a much larger lake, one of the Great Lakes, of course. And so, you know, we talk about the shipping channels of Lake Erie and we realize that the, the ships are are quite a distance from shore. I know because I like to go out there and walleye fish near the fishing or the, the, the shipping channels. But we also have the Detroit River. But along that same river line, um, so much needed goods are brought in and take it away, uh, right down to the point of Oreo cookies that are manufactured in the United States from our grain from southwestern Ontario. All that to say uh, through you, Mr. Chair, to, to the committee that our shipping industry is absolutely vital. So whatever we can do to ensure the shipping industry is helped out along the way to continue to move commerce, uh, it's going to be darn important. So this study is, is a very important study. I want to say uh, thank you, Mr. Bryant. Thank you also uh, to the CEO, Mr. Bernie, uh, for the Essex Region Conservation Authority. He's, he's worked with the authority for as long as I can remember and done some amazing work on, on so many uh, various functions of, uh, of IRCA. IRCA is short for the Conservation Authority. Through you, Mr. Chair, to Mr. Bryant. So you had spoke about uh, flood mapping program funding. And I think you also, I, I believe it to be true that the last time an erosion study was done in the region of Essex, which is, of course, much larger than Essex, includes Windsor West, Windsor Tecumseh, Chatham, so to speak, probably all the way up to Sarnia, was in 75. I think it was commissioned in, commissioned in 75, completed in 76, ironically, the year that I was born, so I'm really dating myself now. Uh, is, that, is that fair, Mr. Bryant, in that that was the last time the erosion portion of the study was done, completed? Uh, through you, Mr. Chair, uh, and, and to respond to um, uh, the member's question. Uh, yeah, in terms of a full comprehensive uh, study and for, uh, for erosion along the shorelines, that was uh, comprehensive to evaluate the natural effects uh, going on out there in the Great Lakes system um, and comprehensive being around uh, Lake St. Clair, Detroit River, uh, and through Lake Erie. Uh, yeah, it was commissioned. Uh, around 1975 with data collected then published uh, with annualized erosion rates in, in uh, 1976 uh, uh, with some smaller evaluations done coupled with uh, one-off studies in, in more localized areas. Uh, but those areas are, um, we've had particular challenges uh, in reevaluating those areas uh, due to some funding and timing constraints, um, uh, which I spoke to, uh, I think, earlier. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bryant. And um, so it was interesting to see those pictures earlier on that were uh, that were sent around and about the erosion. And I think about uh, the other side of Point Pelee, uh, which is certainly not in my riding, but it's not very far. And literally uh, moving roads because the roads are being washed into Lake Erie due to erosion. So my question, Mr. Chair, back through you to Mr. Bryant. So under this this funding program, I think you said six point sixty seven or seventy six million. I think it was. Is there a, is there a, a portion of that? Is that uh, with regard specifically to erosion mapping, or is, is erosion out of that funding? Uh, th through through Mr. Chair, um, uh, currently there's no eligible expenses uh, to the flood hazard identification and mapping program that's being administered through NRCAN and funneled through the local provinces. There's no portion of that that's eligible towards erosion hazards. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bryant. And so is there anything, so I realize the, uh, the IJC, International Joint Commission, um, they basically just study the water levels. Um, is there any funding? Is there any conversation between the countries with regard to opportunities to get funding, to do something that's, because quite frankly, this is not just Canada's problem, it's United States problems as well. 
Um, is, is there any, do you, are you aware of any, any funding of that? Or, or, or how helpful would that be to, for the planning for IRCA, for the Essex Region Conservation Authority going forward? Uh, through you, Mr. Chair. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any awareness of available funding out there specifically to address that. Um, so I guess in part to my earlier remarks, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to see uh, something become available because, uh, you know, we have a combined effect here that we're dealing with in terms of, uh, you know, the flood hazards. And, and as I mentioned before, the, the program that was initiated, uh, it, it's very important. It was a great step forward. Um, but there's a dual impact and some of the some of the large flooding impacts because of the flat topography, the nature of the flood control structures that could be exposed to some of that wave action and energy. Um, you know, there's an erosive force that can drive uh, and initiate that uh, catastrophic flooding consequence. So we'd be hoping to uh, or open to seeing any other sources of funding that would be out there that we could hopefully couple uh, with some of the other flood related programs out there. Thank you. Mr. Chair, how much time do I have left, please? Actually, your timing is perfect, Mr. Lewis. You had no time left. Thank you <laughs> Thank very you, much.